Well, hello everybody, we're back and uh, we're on location today. And we're gonna do a little field trip now. And what you see in front of you is a 18 year old x-ray machine that we removed from another site and relocated here and reinstalled it and cleaned it all up. Got it running perfect. And we got it installed last week. And what we're gonna do today, the reason we're gonna do this video, is this is an analog x-ray machine. So, a couple little things. First of all, we did that x-ray tube video. And if you see this part right here, this is what the x-ray tube looks like when it's inside of its case. So that's, this is an actual x-ray tube. And down here in the table where the patient lays, this is the tray where you would normally put a piece of film. So you'd put a film cassette in there, slide it in under the patient, and then, of course, up here is your x-ray tube, and your collimator adjusts the size of the x-ray field. And you would x-ray down into that through the patient and into the film, and then you develop the film. What we're going to do today is we're going to take this old analog x-ray machine, and we're going to convert it to digital using all this stuff <laughs> that's sitting here on the table. So if that sounds like something interesting for you, Stay tuned, and we're going to come back, and we'll get this stuff unboxed, and I'll explain what it all is and how it works. All right, we got everything unboxed. Let's do a little nickel tour of what all this stuff is. So the first thing you have is just a standard PC computer, and this, the application software that's used for this equipment is in here. So it's very standard, and it communicates via an Ethernet port. So you need a computer with two Ethernet ports, one for your actual networking. The other one is an internal network that communicates with the digital subsystem. So touch screen monitor. And now this is where we start getting into the unique stuff. So right here, we have the what's called the SCU or the system control unit and has a couple of Wi-Fi antennas and it uses 5 gig and 2.4 so it'll use both either type of Wi-Fi and it is encrypted so it's not something that you can pick up <laughs> with your phone really although you can make it do that if you know what you're doing and this is where all the connections happen so it's pretty simple when you look at it and this is all controlled via software. We are installing two different types of detectors. These are actually the digital detectors and these are what's going to take the the x-ray and turn it into an image on the monitor. Um, there's two different types that we're going to use. This one is a, a uh, 35 by 43 centimeter or 14 by 17 and this one's 43 by 43 or 17 by 17 inch. And this one is designed to be wireless. It actually has a Wi-Fi uh, adapter built right into it. It has its own computer built into it um, that runs a type of almost like uh, Android type of software, but it's not Android, but a similar operating system. It uses these lithium polymer batteries, and you have your charger for those, and you can make you get about 75 exposures um, out of one battery charge, which is a lot of x-rays. <laughs> and the battery goes in the back, just like this. And there's no connections to this. It's all wireless. It's completely wireless x-ray. Um, so there's no wires to, to take the image from here to the computer. It uses the Wi-Fi and it picks it up on the SCU. Now this one is a wired detector. So it actually has an Ethernet port and a power port. And this is meant to be placed inside of a cassette holder, you know, like this, and just left in there permanently. And it will take a full 17 by 17 inch field of view image. And we're going to install that in this wall stand here. So this is, this is a, the upright stand, and this is used for doing studies, for instance, like looking at lungs, at spines, at chest, things like that. So it will have that detector. And then the wireless detector will go in here and it can be put on, on the tabletop to do tabletop studies. So if you're x-raying, for instance, a hand or something, um, that's how it works. 
So uh, you can see we have a little bit of work to do to get this all set up. But once we do, we'll come back and we'll take a look at how it all works. All right, we are now back and we have everything connected. We have the detector in the wall stand here. You can see it's all in there and ready to go. And we have the wireless detector, as you can see. And if we come around here to the booth, we have the software all set up. So uh, if you ever wondered what the inside of a cell phone looks like, we're going to check that right now. So we're going to turn on the light and we're going to cone down to the size of the phone. So the x-ray only covers the phone. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to take an exposure. And just like that, there's the inside of our phone. So you can see the charging coil for the, the QI charger. And you can see, here's your camera. That's the CCD module for the camera. So just a few things to show you. The connector jack for your USB. And then this big gray area here is the battery. Comes all the way up. So there you go. You can see your buttons on the sides. So anatomy of a cell phone. There it is. So let's see, uh, put something else on there for fun and see what we can x-ray. Okay, we're now going to do a skull. Don't worry, no skulls were injured in the making of this video. <laughs> so uh, let's take a look and see what he looks like. Nice. And there we go. And just as simple as that, that's how digital x-ray works. So uh, if you go back and look at some of my old videos, I did do a basic one on how a DR detector functions. This is what we would call an indirect conversion detector. And uh, the main difference between a direct conversion and an indirect conversion is that uh, this one takes the image, it, this one actually takes the x-ray and it takes two steps for it to convert it to an actual viewable image. It first converts the, uh, the x-ray signal into a visible light signal and then, and then a, a TFT or thin film transistor array panel will convert that visible light into an electrical signal that creates the actual image to be digitized. A direct conversion actually will directly convert the x-ray into the electrical sig signal. And there's pros and cons to both types. So that's pretty much it. But uh, there you go. We uh, successfully did another install here. I just thought you'd all be interested in kind of some of the things I do for a living. And uh, there you have it. So thanks again to all of you. And uh, we'll be back with more videos real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.